everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. Before we hear the old fellows tonight, I'd like to say a few words about colds. I don't think there's anything more uncomfortable than an early summer cold. If you've ever had one, you'll know just what I mean. Now, I won't give you any set rule concerning colds, but I do say this. You can avoid colds to a large extent by building up resistance in advance. And there is no better way to build resistance than by drinking Horlicks regularly. Horlicks is rich in vitamins and bodybuilding elements, rich in the splendid nourishment of full cream milk and finest wheat and malted barley. So follow this advice. Get a package of Horlicks from your druggist in either natural or chocolate flavor. The whole family will like Horlicks. It'll help them, as it's already helped hundreds of thousands of others all over the world. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Well, the chain letter craze has finally hit Pine Ridge, and Lum and Ebner have decided to go them one better by starting what they call the farm relief chain. Instead of sending money, everybody who receives one of their letters is supposed to respond by sending a hog. <laughs> The old fellows have figured out that they will receive over 15,000 hogs. And as we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find them down at the Jotham Down store getting ready to receive them. Lum is talking over the telephone. Listen. Yeah, Andy, this here's Lum Enter. Yeah, have you ordered the lumber yet to remodel the store with? Well, good. Don't do it then. No, we ain't going to remodel. We're, we're going out of the store business. Yeah, we're going into hog business. <laughs> hog business. Yeah, me and Abner started one of them chain letters, only instead of sending money, we're having everybody send one another a hog. Oh, you did? <laughs> Who'd you get yours from? Well, I do know. As he said, he got a letter a while ago from Grandma Matthews. Well... <laughs> Well, we're going to have to use the money we're aiming on remodeling the store with to fence up some of the land to put them hogs in. Yeah, I might figure with you on doing uh, doing that job of fencing first, building the fence and all that. Well, that's right, you have. Said you got to build a fence for yourself first, and the hogs you're going to get. Well, uh, who you reckon we could get to do that, Ezra? Uh, how about Luther Phillips? I know he does uh, carpentry. Uh, a uh, carpenter. He's a carpenter. Oh, he did. Well, I guess he'll have to build one for himself then. Well, we'll find somebody, I reckon. All right. Much obliged, Jerry. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Granny, them letters are getting scattered around in a hurry. Ain't oh, my. Uh, yeah, just quick as we sent them out just the afternoon while folks started passing them around. They've been going ever since. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just taking the town by storm. I never seen the whole community so excited over anything. Well, I could hear them all night long last night catching hogs. Every time I hear the hog squeal, well, I know that somebody got a chain letter. Oh, that's all you can hear down on the streets today. Anybody that ain't got a hog trying to swap somebody out of one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still think that you ought to put our name up at the top of the list or sit it down at the bottom long. We've done had some hogs by this time, then. Well, Abner, I explained that to you 40 times. If we'd have put our name at the head of the list, we'd have, we'd have just got five hogs. See, this way it takes a little longer for us to start getting any hogs, but the time our name reaches the top, it'll be multiplied to where we'll get... Uh, 15,625 hogs. Yeah, but I'm just afraid they'll run out of hogs before they get to us, Mom. There ain't that many in the community. Oh, well, by the time it gets to us, these letters will be all over the country. <laughs> we'll be getting hogs from every state in the union. Yeah, well, uh, read one of them letters again to me, Mom. I still can't get it in my head how we can send out one hog and get back over 15,000 of them. Well, it's just like that we got from Denver where they wanted us to send them a dime, only we changed it up a little. See, instead of calling it the Prosperity Club, like they did, I changed it to the Farm Relief Club. Yeah. There's, uh, this chain was started in the hope of bringing prosperity to everybody. With three, within three days, make five copies of this letter, leaving off the top name and address and adding your name and address at the bottom and mail to five friends that you want to help. In omitting the top name, send that person one hog as a donation. 
In return, as your name leaves the top, you should receive 15,625 hogs. Is this worth a hog to you? See them first five letters we sent out? They all send a hog to the widow Abernathy. I thought I'd put her name to the top of the list, so I'd help her out that much, you know. Yeah, well, she done got the hogs. Grandpappy Spear said that he'd take one over to her this morning, and she already had four then. And uh, with her just prized to death, you know, she didn't know what was going on. Folks started bringing them in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon I ought to telephone her up and told her about it, so she'd been inspecting them. Had a pen fixed for them. Yeah, well, that's what worried me about ours, too, Lom. Where are we going to put them after we get them? Yeah, I was just thinking about that a while ago. That's going to take a lot of ground to keep that many hogs on, you know. Oh, well, me, I ain't got room on my whole farm for that many. Oh, when them old starts coming in here, land's going higher than a kite. I can tell that right now. Yeah, I believe it will, too. Might be a good idea first to buy up a big batch of land right now and have it fenced so we'd be ready for them when they start coming in. Now, yeah, that's what I was thinking. And I know the place for them, too, if we can get it. That's down there in them pin oak bottoms along the river there. That ground in there ain't no count for nothing else, no way. Granny, that would be a good place to keep them. Who does that land belong to, anyway? Why, uh, old Uncle Henry Lossford used to own it. I don't know where he's been keeping up the taxes on it or not. Well, uh, believe I'll telephone him up and see what he'll take for that. Might pick it up pretty cheap right now. Oh, yeah. Especially if he ain't heard about this hog boom we've started. Well, I reckon he'd be glad to get shut out of it. Yeah, Lord, me, it ain't worth nothing to nobody. <laughs> I hope nobody else ain't beat us to it. Yeah, well, if he's got one of them letters, why, he'll more than likely be wanting to keep it for himself. That's the only trouble. Wait, wait a minute. Hello? Lunch for this, please? Uh, Uncle Henry? Uh, this here's Lum Edwards talking. Oh, tolerably, how's yourself? You know, talk about everything before you get to the conversation. Uh-huh. Well, why, Uncle Henry, uh, what I called you up about, uh, do you still own that land down there along the river, them uh, pin oak flats in there? Uh-huh. Well, what would you ask a feller for that if uh, if he was to go to buy it off of you? Four dollars an acre, huh? Four dollars an acre ain't worth too big. Uh, how much are they in that track? Eighty acres. That's, right. That's uh, four times eighty is uh, just a minute. Let me figure that out in my head. Hand me a pencil there, Abner. Yeah, here. Eighty times four. Notes and notes. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Thirty-two dollars. No, no, wait a minute. Three hundred and twenty. Hello? Uh, tell you what we'll do, Uncle Henry. We'll give you three hundred dollars for it. All right, just make out a deed to me and Abner. We're in partners on it. All right, you fetch it over here. We've got the money whenever you deliver the deed. Well, no no backing out on us now. We're just, We're counting on it. All right, Uncle Henry. All right. Goodbye. Doggy, that's a pretty big price to be paying for that kind of land, ain't Mom? Yeah, it's more than it's worth, all right. But I figured we'd better buy it while we could before somebody else beat us to it. Oh, well, we'll have more money than we know what to do with anyhow. Why, well, right, of course. Now then, we've got to buy some wire and build a fence around it. Yeah, you know, these hogs ain't all profit. I found that out. Yeah. You ain't complaining about spending a little money to fix a place to keep 15,000 hogs that's been given to you, are you? Well, no, I ain't a complaining. <laughs> you said I never stopped to think that we'd have to fix a place to keep them. I expect we can get the Macmillan boys to build that fence for us. Yeah. Oh, well, that is if they ain't got one of them chain letters themselves. That's the trouble. Uh, Grannies, we already got this fence built before we sent them letters out. Why, sure we had. We already thought... Well, yonder comes Grandpap now, huh? Yeah. Uh, Granny, <laughs> I heard about a decide he took the day off. Well, he said when he left at noon that he wouldn't be back for a while, that he had to pack up a fence over at his place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, getting ready for his hogs, I reckon. See, he was second on the list on that letter. Yeah. He'd get, uh, let's see... He ought to get 25 altogether, that is, if nobody don't break the chain. Well, come in, Grandpap. We'd about give you up for getting back. Well, it's taking me longer than I counted on. Folks started bringing hogs in over there, and I had to show them where to put them. Yeah, uh, how many have you got so far? Well, I had 25 whenever I left over there just now. Well, I do know. Well, that's all you're going to get, Grandpap. 25 is all you could get. Yeah. 
Well, that's enough. I've got more now than I know what to do with. I don't know where in the world I'm going to get feed from. Feed? Why, yes, they've got to eat. Twenty-five hogs can eat a feller out of house and home in no time. I had doggies. Wait a minute here, Lom. There's something we hadn't counted on. Where in the world will we ever get enough feed to feed 15,000 hogs with? Granny, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, we better stop them letters before them hogs start coming in here. That's what we better do. Ain't enough feed in this whole part of the country to feed that many hogs. Oh, my goodness. Look, the honor coming in here. Well, for the last... Cedric, what are you doing bringing that hog in the store here? Uh, it belongs to you and Mr. Lum. <laughs> I got a chain letter, and your names was on top of the list, and... Uh... The letter told me to bring you home, so I done it. <laughs> uh, you just take it right back where you got it. We've decided we don't want in on it. Well, there's a whole bunch of fellas on their way over here with them. See, yonder comes Luther Phillips and Luke Spears, both leading hogs now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look here, I'm looking there for the land. Wait, landscape. wait a minute. Be quiet, Abby. I've right. got an idea. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Just leave the hog here, Cedric. Feeding them hogs ain't going to be no trouble at all. My grannies, we'll start another chain letter on feed. Have everybody send one another a bushel of corn, and that way we'll get over 15,000 bushels of corn. <laughs> I grannies, I know they will. Well, now they'll have to find the place to store that corn. <laughs> there seems to be no end to a chain letter. And now, a final word before we leave Lum and Abner for tonight. If you get tired easily, don't have the pep and energy you feel you should have, I wonder if it's because you're not getting sufficient sound, restful sleep at night. It's amazing what a difference a good night's rest can make in a person. So I suggest you do this. Before going to bed tonight, drink a glass full of Horlicks malted milk, hot. Here's what Horlicks does. It soothes and relaxes you, helps you off to sleep quickly and naturally. Once asleep, you sleep more soundly, awake more rested and refreshed in the morning. Horlicks can help you just as it's helping thousands of others. Try it. Get a package of Horlicks from your druggist if you haven't any on hand in either natural or chocolate flavor. Then, drink it every night. This is Carlton Bricker speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks who bid you all good night and good health.